into the Revenue Service RRS tax news. Farmers and fishers face March 1st tax deadline. Oh no, deadlines are bad news for fishermen. You need a live line if you're going to get paid. The fishermen looked at the deadline and the deadline looked back at him and they both knew it was time to reel it in or pay the consequences. But seriously, farming and fishing are tough jobs, especially as you get older. However, with some jobs, it seems you just get better with age. The, you know, it's, it's the age question, which well, I mean, there are some people who are at their best in their 80s. Nancy Pelosi. My mom was using a chainsaw yeah. and doing her best work in her 80s. Nancy. I'm telling you, imagining Joe Biden with a chainsaw is almost as scary as watching him with the U.S. economy. It's horrifying. It's horrifying. I mean, honestly. In the next election, are they really going to try to John Fetterman this guy into the White House again? What do you think the biggest cause of inflation is? And should the Biden administration be doing more? No, I, I just do. I, I think the, uh, that simply is also, Leah, yeah, let's talk about the trillions in, in massive tax uh, or tax uh, cuts to the corporate uh, tax uh, structure as well. True. It's like, I mean, come on, man. Anyways, although apparently Joe Biden is in his prime. You retired too? Not me. I'm in my prime. Yeah, you look it. James Bond, it seems, is not. You see, sensitivity editors are updating James Bond books. But don't worry, I'm sure they'll keep your favorite lines like, My name is Bond. James, he, him, Bond. Uh, man talk. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly, like, 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 dressing up James Bond with the new modern sensitivities thought up like five seconds ago is like putting large prosthetic boobs on a bull. It's, it's not an improvement. And whoever thinks it is, I'm guessing those are the ones who may benefit from a head examination. What, what, what's that, Phil? You can't wait until the sensitivity editors fix J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter books. Because the language she used is totally outdated and insensitive for modern audiences. What, what are you talking about, Phil? J.K. Rawlings is still alive for crying out loud. She's right over there. And like anyone else, she has every right to say anything she dang well pleases. Oh, I, I see, Phil. Harry Potter must die. What, 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 what are you, Voldemort? Oh, crap. I've been sensitivity edited. Honestly. Like, like, like in Harry Potter, you couldn't say that one dude's name. But, but in our world, it's way worse, man. Like, the, the Voldemorts have banned all kinds of stuff around here. I'm telling you. And, and, and why is it they always ban the only thing that's really worth talking about? Truth. IR 2023-34, February 28th, 2023, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today reminded businesses with income from farming or fishing that have not already made their estimated tax payments to file and pay their entire tax due on or before Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. That is the deadline. Taxpayers can pay from their bank account using their online account. There's a link to that here, or they can schedule payments in advance using IRS direct pay. Farmers and fishers who did not pay all their 2022 estimated taxes by January 17th must file their 2022 tax return and pay the entire tax due by March 1st. Only those that have paid their estimated tax payments by January 17th can file by the regular April 18th deadline and avoid estimated tax penalties. This special rule generally applies when income from farming or fishing makes up at least two-thirds of the total gross income in either the current or the preceding tax year. Special rules for disaster areas. Disaster area taxpayers, including the farmers and fishers, have more time to file and pay. Currently, taxpayers in most of California and parts of Alabama and Georgia have until October 16, 2023 to file their 2022 return and pay any tax due. This extension is automatic. Taxpayers don't need to file any paperwork or call the IRS to get it. Like other taxpayers, those in a disaster area who need more time can request a tax filing extension. Visit irs.gov forward slash 
extensions for details. There's a link to that here. Paying online is safe, fast, and easy. They like you to pay online, the IRS does, so they're going to assure you here, make you feel comfy. So online account, there's a link to that here, allows individuals to make same-day payments from a checking or savings account. Taxpayers can also see their payment history, balance and payment plan information, and digital copies of certain notices sent from the IRS. Taxpayers can use IRS Direct Pay. There's a link to that here to schedule payments from their bank account for their tax deadline with no registration or login required. Those who want to pay business taxes should enroll in and use the Electronic Federal Tax Payment System, otherwise known as the EFTPS. There's a link to that here. For more information about these and other payment options, visit irs.gov forward slash payments. There's a link to that here. Forms and publications to use. Farmers, you're going to use the Schedule F generally, Form 1040, profit or loss from farming to report income and expenses. There's a link to that here. You got the Schedule SE, self-employment, Form 1040, self-employment tax. There's a, And to figure employment tax, if net earnings from farming are $400 or more, which I hope they are for you. And then see topic number 554, self-employment tax, publication 225, Farmers Tax Guide and Agriculture Tax Center for more information. There's a link to that here for the fishers out there, the fisher people, the fishermen. Use Schedule C, Form 1040, profit and loss, normal kind of business schedule here. From business, sole proprietorship to report income and expenses. And then you've got the Schedule SE, once again, Form 1040, self-employment tax. There's a link to that here to figure self-employment tax. If net earnings from fishing are 400 or more, and I hope they are for you. I hope they're well over that uh, threshold. See Publication 334, Tax Guide for Small Business for Commercial Fishers who file Schedule C. There's a link to that. Related items we also have down here. For fishers and farmers operating as a partnership or a corporation, you can see Publication 541, Partnership or Public. 542 corporations links to those for information on estimated tax you can see publication 505 tax withholding and estimated tax and tax topic 416 farming and fishing income links to those publication 5034 uh, in english and spanish need to pay a payment make a payment they make that one available in all kinds of languages they want to make sure no one can claim not understanding that one, so you could check that out. For filing information on the quarterly federal excise tax for manufacturers of sport fishing equipment, you can see publication 510 excise taxes and form 720 quarterly federal excise tax return. A lot of stuff to click on here, a lot of just in depth and interesting reading material, so you can check it out. There'll be a link to this in the description.